I've always really wanted a puppy for Christmas, and since I don't have one, I need to settle for the next best thing. Today is all about Linus, because there's something I want to explore. When I got married to him before, as we we're having our ceremony, he flashed to a different appearance altogether for just a brief second, so I want to see if I can recreate that to see why his appearance changed and what exactly it changed to. By the way, Linus isn't exactly living out in the wild, you're not exactly roughing it living indoors for winter. Even someone like me needs to warm up indoors now and then. According to Wiki, basically every day throughout winter? Well, since you're here, I'll give you a campfire, but I'm not gonna light it. Apparently it's a busy day at the bathhouse, hey hold on, there's a wild animal in there. There's some weird people living in this town. Like that guy Sebastian, why does he wear black all the time? He's a vampire, buddy. Be careful of him. I don't get it. You don't get a lot of things, but while you're here, let's send you elsewhere. Oh, he seemed to have figured that out pretty nicely. Well, I tried. So the process for this is pretty simple. We need to make Linus fall in love with us. We're going to propose to him. We're going to marry him. Yes, we can do that. And it's the wedding ceremony we need to take a close look at. So bad news for you, I'm going to teleport you into a volcano. I'll do the laundry tomorrow morning before you get up. That way you won't have any downtime. That's perfect. Just make sure it's done before you're gone. Okay, this might be a bit of a hiccup. Pelican Town Marriage Log. After marriage, you may file for divorce here. Let's hope that isn't necessary. Because of the mods I have going on, I'm not actually allowed to divorce anyone right now. But I'm pretty sure we can still get married again, so Maru can stay after all. Linus really likes coconuts, and I'm happy to feed the guy, but I want to give him some food he has to work to get into, so coconuts are perfect. This is wonderful. You've really made my day special. Come and live on my farm. There's plenty more where that came from. I made his day so special that he didn't move up a single heart on the heart meter. While we're at it, let's see how many coconuts it takes to do this. There's two, that's three, that's four, that's five. How far up has he moved? Two hearts for five iridium quality coconuts. So another 15 should bring him up to eight. Anyways, you know the drill by now. Take one of these and one of these. I thought maybe you were joking at first. Would I joke about something like this? But you're special DF, I know you wouldn't do that. Just you wait. I trust you and I'm happy you want to share your life with me. Yep, what he said. Look at him, digging for the giant candy. Get out of there, you little scamp. Before we get married, I want to see what his Ten Heart dialogue says about him in winter. He says literally nothing. What? We're not married yet? This is awfully weird. Okay, well we can kiss Linus in his tent, so that's a new thing. I don't want to kiss the hungry little guy. I want to know his thoughts right now. We'll try it again tomorrow. And this is the last day we can get his thoughts because tomorrow we're going to get married. And I am really curious to see what his appearance changes into. It definitely caught my attention before when I got married to him, but I didn't really have time to stop and look into it. Linus, get out here. I don't have all day. Oh, he's got dialogue now. I thought maybe you were joking at first. Really the same thing again? Well, you know what? Fire is going out. Only original content gets a fire. All right, well, let's see if we can jump into a wedding tomorrow. I'm not really sure given that it's winter if that's going to happen. One thing I am going to do is change the weather because I don't want it snowing on my wedding day. It's hard to see. And the game crashed. So we're after promising start. I need to investigate something. Something wrong today? I was wondering where you were this morning. Hey, do you have any ideas for a new gadget I could make? How about a robot that digs a giant hole and pushes you in? Hmm, I trust your opinion. Well, whatever helps that creative mind of yours flow. So Linus is still currently our boyfriend, so we're going to try and sleep one more time and hopefully he doesn't crash, because this whole thing doesn't really work without Linus. And it crashed again. It doesn't want me to get married to Linus, and I'm not really sure why. But given everything else that's currently going on in the game, I think it's understandable. Everything seems just a little bit off right now. One thing I am going to do is shed some mods and try this again. I'll be right back. We now have a few less mods to deal with. Not sure if this is going to help. I mean, there should be a spouse zoom over here. Maru is one of the original marriage candidates, so clearly the game is still a little off, but we're going to go for it anyway because I just don't really have a choice now. My solution to this little problem is using a file where I'm not married. I'll spare you the boring details, but we just need a slightly bigger house. The house is on the way. Linus is already on the move. I'm not sure if I even know him on this file, but this is really quick. I can bring him all the way up to 10 hearts. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care to know. And the bathhouse because you get cold. I live out here by choice. Now that we've met the little guy, let's get more serious and married. Okay, three days. Oh yeah, I guess the house has to be done first. Well, you wait there. I'll be back. He's gonna love his new home. Now I know what you're thinking. It's not big enough for Linus. 
but I would like to remind you he lives in an itty bitty tent so this is more than enough room. And he likes to be outside so this is honestly going to work out perfectly. Look at him enjoying that fire. Nothing to say today? Alright, three days, we're going to get married, hopefully the game doesn't crash, I want to see your mysterious appearance. And here we go again, not overly optimistic, but we'll see. Maybe because it is actually spring right now, it's not going to crash on me. Okay, here we go, we need to keep a very close eye on Linus through this whole thing. The screen will go black, that happens to me for whatever reason, it will come back. Keep an eye on Linus. To do this properly, I might have to hit the skip wedding button down in the lower right, I think that's how it happened last time, but let's just give him a minute and see. So as the wedding ends, let's hit the skip button and see if he changes. See, right there. What was that? Linus is an imposter. I think I might have a way to redo that and actually freeze frame as he changes like that. So we're going to restart the day and take a look. Because now that he's here, he's just regular old Linus. I was wrong. There's nothing I can do to freeze that right now. So I'll go into that a little bit more when I edit this video. I can freeze that frame. We'll take a closer look. Here we go. All the time in the world to speculate on what exactly we're looking at here. My first thought was that this was actually part of the Looking for Love mod, which allows me to marry Linus. But as it turns out, I don't think that's the case. What this appears to be is an alternate or unused version of early Linus, perhaps from an unused heart event. Thanks to Kira for pointing this out for me. I did feel like it was vaguely familiar as if I'd looked at it somewhere, I just couldn't picture where. Wikipedia has the answers. Now I still have no idea how or why it appears this way when I try and skip the wedding, but I've also noticed a few people's appearances seem to change into different outfits at this point, so it's probably just something with the coding and the mods, of which I know nothing about. The sky looks so open and inviting, doesn't it DF? I, I guess. Nature misses me. Well, you know what? I've got a solution for that. But don't worry darling, I love you more than the trees or the fish or anything nature has to offer. Yeah, you would be standing in the kitchen. Stay cool, my darling. It's the sunny, snowy first of summer. Come inside if the sun is too much. But Linus, it's Christmas every day. Linus, I hate to be a bother, but I need you to move somewhere. I cannot do anything with you if you just stand there all day. Wait, I finally got him moving. Perfect. All right, you go there. Oh. Did he stop? What's... Was I just... What? Where'd he go? He's in bed. Aw, oh, man. I guess there's always tomorrow. We've got endless time to make these stupid ideas work. Well, here we go again. Linus, I made you a wonderful little pen outside. There's even a water dish. If you go in there, I'll even fill it up. There are so many little things to enjoy when you're married to someone as amazing as you. You're so kind, Linus. You have no idea what I'm trying to do to you right now. The problem is trying to get him to move, and last time he hit my portal, he just stopped. He didn't actually do anything once he hit it, which is kind of concerning for me. And he seems to play by his own rules. I change it to whatever time I want. He just stands there, staring longingly at the stove. Would you go to bed now? Literally 12 a.m. Finally, he's on the move and he walks around my portal. Of course he does. Linus, go. He's portal proof. I don't get what happened. I can walk through the portal. And he's just stopped. Maybe I set them up wrong. Maybe that counts as him going through and that's why he stops. We're going to try it again tomorrow with portals in a different location, I guess. Because if I walk through the portal, perfect, out there in the rain where Linus belongs. Things I do for my pets, I tell you. You know what? The problem might have been he just didn't want to go outside because he knew his water dish wasn't full. But today it's full, so that should be the determining factor. Alright you massive moron, get in the portal. Here my love, you'll need this to stay warm today. Yeah, you might regret giving that to me. Probably something you'd do better with. Hey, 4 o'clock, are you going to move? 10 minutes pass, anything? Linus? Go in the portal. Here we go, he's on the move again. And he walks around my portal as if he's magic or something. Oh, that might not work, I gotta put it there. He can't possibly get around that one, he just stops. So... It seems to mostly just be a Linus thing. I'm not sure if it's because he's in my house that he can't teleport. But now that he's out on the porch, I could try it here. Look, Shane's going to get really lonely if he doesn't have someone to play with, so could you please move at some point? Linus has relocated himself somewhere. Probably just inside. Yep, his favorite location, in front of the stove. He seems to have me all figured out, which is kind of a shame. Why did it take me? Well, Linus, I think you win this round. But at least I got to look at your true appearance. It's just another year without a dog. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be uploading a video tomorrow on Christmas Day. 
So in case I don't, I just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Hope you all have a very wonderful day. Hope you like this one. Thank you all for watching.